Well, hello there, guys. It's Reed here yet again. We have the box in the back, of course, back there. And, of course, we have everybody's favorite personal assistant. We have Amazon, Alexa. Alexa. Oh. <laughs> Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1911, American explorer Hiram Bingham brought international attention to Machu Picchu, a 15th century Inca citadel. Today... More than 300,000 people visit the majestic granite ruins each year, mm. traveling up the winding road that still bears Bingham's name. How about that, guys? So it looks like it's that time. It's time for another insane, super official, exciting, thought-provoking food product review. From YouTube's only straight edge, 365 day a year. <sighs> product review. Today, people, we have something very special. Now, we've reviewed the original Tasty Cake Honey Bun, but this is the Iced Honey Bun. Check that out, people. Covered in white. Wow. Look at that. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I just had a flashback. I mean, look at that. You see how that's covered in white? You can't see the, you can't see the bread under it. It's so white. It kind of reminds me of my ex-wife's face that night I walked in. She was caked with white stuff all over her face after Malcolm had shot it all over her face with his 12-inch BBC, British Broadcast Corporation. But where this is not dripping, it was like dripping from her face, so. Kind of like that House of Wax cover in that movie if you've ever seen that, uh, that's a bad that's a bad example probably. But if you've ever seen the House of Wax, that Paris Hilton movie, kind of like. That. Anyway, guys, oh, we got to get this. We got to get to this. So this was a dollar at the uh, where was it at? Yeah, at the dollar store. What a coincidence! It was a dollar. But anyway, guys, as always, remember if you have anything you would like, read the box and of course Alexa to review. You gotta leave that comment below. If we like that comment, may pick out that comment and review your request next. Thumbnail, Alexa, do you like honey buns? Yes, I do. My favorite is Little Debbie. Lit oh, that's my favorite honey bun. Wow, I wonder how much she was paid to say that. Hmm. Alexa, what is your favorite honey bun? I like Little Debbie. Okay, I tried to rephrase it just to see. Let's open it up, Pippa. Now, this is a good sized honey bun. Oh my god. Mm. Some white stuff shot out right there on my finger. Well, that was weird. Look at that. It's a good sized honey bun. It's very nice. It's not real thick, but it's pretty long. Man. God, if I was that thick, I couldn't, you couldn't do nothing if you was that thick, could you? Just imagine if you was that wide, people, you'd have no chance of even. Anyway, let's get right to it. Not bad at all. Alexa, how were the pyramids built? Here's what I found on reference.com. No historian knows for certain how the pyramids were built. So there are a few different theories about how Egyptians completed the different phases. Typically, historians agree that workers pulled blocks on skids, though how they kept the sand smooth enough for transport is still up for debate. Trap. Ramp and pulley systems were also important, according to Richard Coslow. The aliens built the pyramids. Alexa? Weather? Right now in Middlesbrough, it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. And that Today's is sweet. Today's forecast has lots of clouds, with a high of 81 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. People, I'll tell you what, this right here is packed with sugar, my God. The icing is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that has got to be... You definitely need a honey bun when you... You need milk when you eat a honey bun. That is for sure. My goodness. Alexa, do you believe in UFOs? 
So far there has been no proof that alien life exists, oh. but the universe is a very big place. Oh. Alexa, do you believe in aliens? So far there has been no oh. proof that alien life How about that? Alexa, what is the coldest place on Earth? Here's what I found on reference.com. The coldest place on Earth is a ridge in Antarctica, where temperatures can drop to below minus 133.6 degrees Fahrenheit. She knows a lot of stuff, people. You gotta give her credit right box. I'll tell you what, people. I mean, it's just so sugary. It's good, of course, but man, the icing on this is like overkill. I guess that's what you would want, though, if you want to ice honey bun, it's gonna be like that. Let's just take a bite of the bread here by itself. Hmm. Oh. 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 Now, of course, people, as I've said in the past, the gold standard of the honey bun, just like Alexa said. Little Debbie honey buns are the best. And I'm still going to stick with that. But this is a good honey bun. It's very... It's got a lot of sugar. Man. I should have expected that, though, when I saw the glazed on top. but Or the iced honey bun, whatever they call it. But overall, people, it's pretty solid. That's good. That's some good stuff right there. Wow. That is unbelievable. It's almost like it's putting me in a coma, people. And when you drink a pet, when you drink a Coke on top of that with it, of course, Coca-Cola is the best drink in America. But when you're drinking a Coke with your honey bun, I mean, you're kind of asking for a. Uh... Wow, man, this is a this is going to be a tough way, people, as we start today here selling propane and propane accessories. I mean, I knew it was going to have sugar in it, but not like this. Overall, people, I'm going to give the Tasty Cake Iced Honey Bun, I'm going to give it a solid three stars. I do feel it's good. I feel the biggest drawback to it, it's a little bit too much sugar. And the bread could be a little bit better, just the bread part by itself. Um, but, I mean, it's a good cake. They're doing something right to be in business since 1914. But, again, Hostess is better. Little Debbie's better. That's pretty good, though. Feel pretty good. But that's going to be the official review, people, of another amazing product. You cannot go wrong with this. And of course, it's a big honey bun. It's not a little one. You're getting a good size one. Um, my best advice would be to buy a honey bun like this and share it with your significant other or your relative or your friend. Uh, it's just a big honey bun. It's a lot It's a lot to take in. Now my ex-wife would have no problem taking all this in. If you know what I'm saying, she could take it all the way in and still have room to spare. But again, man, that's, that's a good honey bun. It's just not, it's not in the upper echelon, you know. It's like right there, Tasty Cake, Hostess, Little Debbie. Or Little Debbie Hostess, whichever way you prefer it. But there you have it, people. That is it. That's the, the review. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching another amazing, amazing episode. We've had a great time here yet again. It just flies by, people. You know, we do it 365 days a year. And we can't do it without your support. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Me, the box, of course. Alexa, have a great day. Same to you. We'll see you as always tomorrow with another exciting, insane, super fish, stop provoking food product review. Toodles. Is it cough syrup? Surely not. Cherry LA one. Now the original is made with real cherry. It says real ginger and real sugar. Maybe that's the problem. That has a unique flavor, people. Dare I say this actually tastes like 
cough syrup. Cough syrup or cough syrup, whatever you want to call it. I think we we always called it cough syrup as children because we live in the south. Uh, cough syrup. It's syrup though, right? Alexa, how do you pronounce syrup? I pronounce that syrup, but text-to-speech is always improving and I might not have it quite right. Syrup. I mean, Alexa's very...